And of course, as an old school Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and Batman fan, we couldn't let Comic Con go by without a little coverage of one of the legends that we're lucky enough to have here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Neil Adams has been kind enough to take a moment to talk with us. How are you today, Mr. Well, Adams? How are you? I mean, I, how many legends have you spoken to today? Uh, I've, I've had the honor of, of catching up with a, a few people, but not really the legendary ones today. Oh, so see? You're so top of the list. So we're really talking, Neil, the top of the list legend today? Yes, sir. All right. That, well, see, that's different. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would have to go back to the Cincinnati. Cincinnati Comic Con when I talked to Staranko for there another you go, legend. There you, you know? go. It's me and Staranko. We're like that. <laughs> Outstanding. Do you breathe fire with him? I do breathe fire with I Yes, in fact, I do. It's not easy. You know, you got to coat your mouth in that asbestos stuff and you have to like blow out all the time. But pretty much it's, you know, down. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. So is this your first time down in New Orleans, Mr. This Adams? is our first time down in New Orleans and to keep the calories down very, very hard. Yeah, well, we, we're serious hard. about food here. You are very serious about food, and everybody seems to know about it. Cab drivers, anybody that you talk to knows about food. New York, you talk to a cab driver, it's a coffee shop. You know? Yep. Here, it's like they know all the restaurants, they know what they serve, they know the prices. You can ask any cab driver what you can tell him you what how much money you want to spend, he'll tell you where to go. That's it's amazing. Beautiful. Cab driver, who would have punk? Well, you know, we're a very different city down here. Somebody calls New York home away from home. I can definitely vouch well, for the comparison. See, the thing about it is New York is actually, you really can't talk to a New Yorker about good food because we have great food, and the reason we have great food is everybody sends their food to us. Exactly. Okay? But we are not focused on food. New Orleans is focused on food, and they got they have a mindset about food. And I, I have heard it said, I'm not altogether sure that this is true, but I've heard it said that any excuse to have a parade, New Orleans will have it. As a New Orleans native, I can vouch for this. I, you know, we had a parade here yesterday at the Comic Con. Chewbacca, the international crew, the intergalactic crew of Chewbacca. Well, that may be true, but I saw a lot of dead zombies in that. Well, the, well, then there were spaceships and stuff. That was pretty cool. Well, you know, come down for carnival. I don't understand what it is about zombies. They want to get into everything. You know, it seems to be the flavor du jour. I like them when they're done well, but you know, New Orleans has always had more of a relationship with zombies than with vampires. I think it's good to see that showing up in the. Go, I, did, I made them go away. The zombies go away by telling them that all, this, all the Twinkies were gone. <laughs> I don't actually know what that means, but I just shoved Twinkies in there because it's in the news. That's great. So what kind, of, what kind of new stuff are you working on these days, Mr. Adams? What am I working on? Uh, well, I'm Batman Odyssey. Wonderful. And it has some, received some critical uh, attention, uh, but that attention seems to be turning around now. People are seeming to like it. Uh, just got printed in, uh, in a collection, all 13 stories. And Wonderful. it hit the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, God knows why they lowered their standards that far, uh, but uh, see, people seem to like it and are actually reading it cover to cover and discovering, oh yes, it is a novel, not a series of short stories, as some critics seem to think it ought to have been. Uh, I'm doing a five-issue miniseries on uh, what's called, what are called First X-Men, yeah. which is the X-Men before the X-Men, which actually, I guess it hasn't occurred to anybody that they're probably were mutants before they were our favorite Professor X mutants. And so I kind of glommed into that and I gave them a new leader and I just finished the last story, That's which damn. will be, which I guess will print in, a, in about a month. Wonderful. So it's a five issue miniseries. And then on to well, that, I can't talk about that, of course, because that's supposed to be a surprise. And I'm doing a thing called Blood for Dark Horse. Nice. It's done in chapters in uh, Dark Horse uh, Presents, and I'm working on the last chapter of that. So now, I mean, I've come back, I've done Batman, X-Men, uh, an independent project, and it's up from there. I don't know exactly what's up from there, but it's got to be up from there. Well, as, so, as someone that grew up with a lot of your original Batman work and such, I, uh, I'm thrilled to see you back on that character. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, two more quick questions, and I'll let you get back to drawing for your fans. Out of curiosity, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Really? Yeah. Uh, hey, we're a food-oriented city, i got to ask. You are. Uh, it's true. Uh, God, you threw me on that one. It's like, what's my favorite flower or butterfly? I, I don't, I don't, think, I, I don't actually have a favorite food. I, I, I golly, Chinese food. I like Chinese food. 
And then, and then I have the troublesome question. Yeah. Uh, one, of, one of our internet readers wanted me to ask all the guests, and I think it's a great question. He wanted me to ask, what is best in life? What is best in life? Three things. Good work, good family, good health. Yeah. That's best in life. Balance those three things together. Good work, if you have good work, then it helps your family and it helps your health. If you have good health, it helps your work and it helps your family. If you have good family life, it helps your work and it helps your life. So, an equal balance of health, work, and family. Wonderful. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us, Mr. Adams. Pleasure.